On this episode of the Christian Home and Family Podcast, I want to give some encouragement to parents about the direction your children are headed. Um, I'm heading down this valley. This is called the Arkansas Valley. It's really close to where I live. You can see the beautiful mountains in the background over there that I'm headed toward. As I was walking, or as I was driving rather, through this uh, beautiful scene at springtime, it came to my mind that all of us are going somewhere. Us, our kids, our, our spouse, our family, we're all going somewhere. And in my case right now, literally, I'm headed toward a beautiful destination. There are amazing mountains down there that are 14,000 foot peaks. You can still see the winter snow up there on them. It's really an amazing, amazing place to live. But my question to you is this. Where are you headed? Where are you going in your life? Are you, are you headed towards something beautiful, something glorious? Are your kids headed towards something beautiful, something glorious, something that, that God has in mind for them that is going to be an amazing, incredible end of their life? I know there are parents who got to be watching or listening who you look at your kid's life and you're scared, you're, you're concerned because you can see the trajectory that they're on and it is not good. And as a parent, you can feel very helpless about that at times. You can, especially when your kids get older, you can feel, man, where are my kids headed and how can I divert them onto a better path? I understand that. I understand that, especially as your kids get older, you can feel at a loss, kind of helpless. And my encouragement to you is this. You serve a God who is not helpless. You serve a God who is all-powerful. And your first step should be to begin praying about your child's destination. Now, I'm not talking about praying in a worried, frantic, oh my goodness, what's going to happen sort of a way. I'm talking about praying prayers of faith that take God's truth into account. So you start pouring over the scriptures and finding the promises of God for his people and asking the Lord to apply those to your family and to your children, to to bring them to repentance, to bring their hearts to a place of, of humility, to bring them to a state in their lives that is pleasing to him. You begin with prayer. Prayer is is foundational to the Christian life, but it's foundational to Christian parenting as well. After that, you begin working on the conversations, the communication. You may have a strained relationship with your children for one reason or another. You need to start tiptoeing into that and start working with your children, trying to understand them, trying to understand where the tension comes from. Is there something you've done that's been offensive? Is there something you've done in the past before you knew Christ that was hurtful and it's kind of colored their view of you? Is there something that the two of you need to work through? Some issues of bitterness or forgiveness? There's a lot that goes into it, but you need to start with a conversation once you've begun praying. And then those conversations in time, let me tell you this, it's a long time sometimes, but in time those conversations turn into better relationships which open the door to change in the person's heart and that's what you need you need change in your child's heart and it comes through prayer it comes through caring conversations and it comes through patient endurance of the struggles that you're facing together parents don't let the feeling of hopelessness overwhelm you remember your child is on a journey they're heading toward a destination and don't let the perception of where they might be headed right now cause you to be throwing up your hands in despair turn to God in faith begin praying the truths of his word for yourself and for your children and begin asking him to give you the heart for your children that you know that he has for them The ministry of Christian Home and Family is all about helping you build a legacy of faith in your family that will last for generations to come. If I can help you with that in any way, please don't hesitate to contact me at christianhomeandfamily.com slash contact. As well, you can join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash christianhomeandfamily.